Okay, since I talked about knives and said I might do some videos, uh, I'm going to go ahead and just do one quick one for you. Give you kind of some basic info. And this is the knife in its sheath. Fold that under so I won't accidentally cut it. I'm going to get out of here one handed. Okay. Alright. This is the knife. Unsheathed. Let's see if you can see this here. Maybe. Uh, okay, there we go. Made in the USA. S30V Steel. White River Knife and Tool Company. Designed by Jerry Fisk. This knife has... Uh, now, I did have a spec sheet, so I can give you the exact specifics on it, but I'm not sure where I put it. So I just kind of put a measuring tape to it to give uh, kind of a rough estimate. So, okay, roughly, this is a four and a half inch blade length, uh, not including this, uh, I guess, cut in kind of troll area. Uh, so it has roughly a four inch even cutting surface of the blade. It is sharp. Uh, handle pretty much same dimensions four and a half inches overall uh, if you don't include this little uh, silver uh, silver area that's got the uh, finger guard it is four inches uh, as you can see it is peened down here at the bottom uh, it is actually full tang it's just a hidden tang uh, even though you can't see it where the seam is this is actually two pieces of canvas micarta, uh, their scales, you know, put together over the handle, uh, surprisingly enough. Uh, really nice leather sheath, love the sheath. Uh, you know, this is probably one of my uh, favorite knives now. Uh, personally, I mean, I just really like this knife. Uh, you know, as I stated, uh, you know, four and a half inch, uh, roughly four and a half inch blade, full length, four and a half inch cutting surface. Four and a half inch handle, four and a, uh, with a four inch surface starting here, uh, where the silver guard is. Back, it's roughly four inches. Uh, you know, full tang. It is, uh, if my measuring tape is correct, it is roughly a one eighth inch thick blade at its thickest point. Back here in the back, has this teeny tiny little bit of mild jimping right there in that one little spot. Uh, I don't know how well you can see it. but this spine has this bevel on both sides uh, you would think that it might not be able to throw sparks from a ferrocerium rod but actually that would be incorrect it absolutely can throw sparks no problem at all uh, I've tested it yes it can do it uh, extremely comfortable in the hand uh, S30V crucible steel uh, is technically a high carbon steel but it is pretty stinking rust and corrosion resistant uh, it has this is what there is referred to as a stone wash finish which I think looks very nice uh, just looks really good uh, Jerry Fist designed this knife and I know because I called and uh, asked White River uh, you know what is the function of this knife and uh, I stated that Jerry Fist designed this knife for skinning and uh, you know field dressing uh, wild hog, so it, it is a a field prep knife for wild game, uh, specifically designed for uh, skinning and dressing wild hog. Uh, so obviously that means it's going to be a very tough and durable knife. An S30V and an S35VN, uh, which is a, a newer, I guess you could say, version of this steel. It's a little bit more upgraded. Uh, it's an extremely tough steel. I mean, it is, is considered a super steel. Uh, not quite so much as a S35 uh, VN or, you know, uh, there's one or two other steels that are considered like extremely super, super steels. But nonetheless, this is technically a super steel. Uh, and if I remember correctly, uh, correctly, this is what is referred to as a crucible steel. Uh, if, again, if I remember correctly, I could be getting confused with a different knife as far as the steel. Uh, but I'm pretty sure that's what that type is referred to as. But nonetheless, 
Uh, now, this is a $250 knife if you go to the White River website. Very expensive, obviously not your, your common man, you know, average everyday Joe type knife. Uh, I did not buy this knife. I won this knife in a drawing, actually. Uh, otherwise, I would probably not own it because uh, that's just out of my price range. Typically, I try to stay within like a $50 range for knives. You know, and I have other very good knives that I, I really, really like uh, that are in, you know, say that $50 price range. Uh, but this is just, it's an heirloom piece. It's a, a gorgeous piece of American-made steel. You know, it's just a beautiful knife. It's handmade. It's made in the USA, and it is an heirloom item. It, it really is. You can, you can pass this down to your grandchildren. I mean, as long as you take care of it, it will last you that long. Uh... But you know, I'm at about six minutes, so I guess we're pretty good. Just a basic kind of uh, overview of the knife. All right, I'll cut it here. Thanks, you.